Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures beta. Learn local storage by building a to-do app. Step 65. All right. So we've retrieved the task items now, but they still don't reflect in the UI when the page loads. However, they appear when we add a new task. Uh, this thing isn't even working on this uh, step 65, but whatever. Uh, so we can check if there's a task inside task data using the length of the array. Because zero is a false value, all we need for the condition is the array length, all right? Uh, we're gonna check if there's a task inside task data, then we'll call the update task container uh, function call inside the if statement block. And with that, we're done, all right. So yeah, for this one, we're gonna do an if statement and for the condition, we're gonna say task data dot length, all right? So basically what this is doing is if there's nothing inside of task data, uh, the link's gonna be zero. So that means it's gonna be falsy, which means this is false, right? And so it won't execute what's in the block. And if there is any length whatsoever, like one or anything else, uh, we're gonna call update task container like that and cap it off with a semicolon. So let's uh, check the code, looks good and submit it. All right. So that's the end of learn local storage by building a to-do app. So now we're on to learn recursion by building a decimal to binary converter. And we'll see you next time.